Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really, really well today. So I'm here to confuse you again by being in my UK bedroom. I have moved to New Zealand, I promise. Um, this is just a pre-recorded video that I made before I went away just so that I could get ahead of myself and get settled in New Zealand and everything nicely. So yes, I will be back with New Zealand videos very, very soon. And uh, yeah, I want to share with you today um, some tips for how to conquer travel sickness naturally. So travel sickness is something I've dealt with my whole life. It's been horrendous. I think I've only actually managed to be sick with it one time and that was when I was really really young and I didn't know what to do with myself it's the worst feeling in the world and if you ever have felt travel sick you will know exactly what I mean you just don't even know what to do with yourself you can't do anything you can't sit still you can't close your eyes you can't have your eyes open you just you just feel like oh everything's just awful it's the worst worst feeling ever and you just feel vile um yeah and it's horrible as well if you are looking forward to going somewhere and then you just end up feeling sick or if you go to a fairground and you know you go on a ride and it just ruins the rest of your day like there's days where I've just gone two hours down the road and I've made myself feel so car sick on the way that I'm just dead for the rest of the day like I can't do anything for the rest of the day because I'm just in bed so yeah if you can stop it before it gets to that point then that is very very good and um, so here are some of my you know foolproof tips that I've used for my whole life and especially in the last few years traveling so much I've kind of become an old pro at trying to help travel sickness and kind of figure out things that work for me so I want to share those things with you in hopes that they do help any of you who do deal with travel sickness because it's not nice to have to deal with at all so the first thing is something that I kind of figured out um, last year and it's called gingins I got a pack of these from Australia uh, from like a health food shop and they're amazing so they are ginger candy you can make your own ginger candy but when you're traveling around a lot it's not so easy to actually be able to make your own um, they do come in plastic packets unfortunately so maybe there is a more eco-friendly version out there I'm not sure but this is what they look like um, it's just like a piece of ginger inside this little packet and yeah these really really help to help with nausea if you start to feel sick you know if you go on boat rides and stuff like that these are really really good but like I said you can make these by yourself so the only ingredients in these is sugar ginger tapioca starch that's it so that's all that there is so you can definitely make these by yourself maybe one day I'll actually try um, but if I can't get these um, I will just take ginger root and just chew on the ginger root which sounds gross but it's actually fine and also if you can take pre-sliced up pieces of ginger in a like a little plastic bag or tin or something um, you can just ask for hot water on the plane and just pop them in there and make yourself like ginger tea because ginger is wonderful at helping with nausea or travel sickness that's definitely something I'm going to do if I'm allowed I don't know if I'm allowed yet but before I've definitely chopped up pieces of ginger and just taken it with me just in case to nibble on or just have um, in a cup of tea or a cup of water or just even put it in my bottle of water as well um, it's really really helpful <laughs> so the next thing that I always use is whoop, these these are travel sickness bands they work with acro acupressure points um, yeah these are really grotty and really disgusting because I've traveled with them so much but basically they've got this little blob inside here and you put them on your wrist so the way to do it is to um, measure with two fingers like this so pop it, pop it on your wrist first it's always helpful <laughs> measure two fingers down and then here there's like a dint um, I don't know if you can see there's like a little dint there and it basically just goes into there so once you've popped it on you can just measure again and as long as it's on that point you should not feel travel sick so this is more of a holistic kind of approach some people may say this doesn't work some people may say it does work I go on the fact that it works for me and that's all that matters so you know I have got travel sick sometimes wearing these especially if it's on like a really really rough boat ride but generally if I wear these I'm absolutely fine and I've worn these for so so long that I've actually ended up with bruises under my arm um, but I, that is definitely a risk that I'm willing to take because bruises outweigh travel sickness for me <laughs> so yeah I wear these all the time and you know even if it is a placebo effect if the placebo effect works and makes you not travel sick then what have you got to lose so yeah you can get these these are called bands and um, you can get ones for morning sickness that are pink they're exactly the same thing and um, so yeah you know if you do have morning sickness if you're pregnant then these are really great too and you can get kid versions so smaller versions if you've got smaller wrists as well so yeah I highly 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 recommend these I think they're amazing and you can get them on most boats and you can definitely get these on Amazon too so yeah and I think like when I was decluttering my room I actually have three packs of these from when I've like traveled and forgotten them um, over my lifetime so I have plenty of these now so the next tip I've got is to use spearmint or peppermint oil so I've used this for a lot of years and peppermint is definitely better than spearmint but spearmint is just as good if you don't have peppermint and what I do is I just pop a few drops of this onto the cuffs of my sleeves and then I can smell it and especially if you do start to feel sick if you do start to feel unwell while you're traveling you can kind of just snuggle up and 
keep this here and you can kind of inhale the peppermint because peppermint is so so good at relieving sickness and relieving nausea so yeah definitely recommend this and also if you can take this on the plane with you or the boat or whatever you are traveling on you can pop some of this into your water too and it just really helps to relieve that sickness and especially if you get a headache too it can really be really useful and just popping a few drops of this like behind your ears and stuff is really really helpful in helping with nausea <laughs> so the next few tips i've got are pretty self-explanatory but don't read don't go on your phone you know don't do anything that's going to cause disturbance in your brain so basically travel sickness is caused by your inner ear sending different signals to your brain than what your eyes are sending so yeah if you are swizzling all around the place and you are looking here there and everywhere the signals confuse your brain and so your brain causes sickness because it doesn't know what's going on it's just completely confused and um, so yeah I think travel sickness is just like this sensitivity to these motions so motion sickness that's basically what travel sickness is it's just the sickness what you get when you are in motion so it can be for me if I'm on a fairground ride, if I go on something that wobbles my head around too much, you know, if I spin around in a circle I could feel sick really quickly. Um, and it's just that thing of your eyes just not being able to focus on something. So if you can, um, if you can read while you're travelling that's amazing, but if you can't then the best thing to do is sit in the front seat of the car and face forwards looking out of the window because your eyes will be telling your brain exactly the same thing as what the movement is. Um, whereas if you're watching something that's moving and you're kind of stationary in the car it just confuses your brain so much which is one of the things that causes it. The other thing that I want to say is to make sure you always sit facing the way you go. So like I said sit in the front seat if you can. But if you're on a train or you know a bus try not to sit backwards because if you sit backwards and you're going forwards it's just confusing like it's confusing anyway never mind to your brain like <laughs> so yeah if you can try and face the way that you are traveling that will be extremely extremely helpful in stopping the motion sickness from happening and you know if you do start to feel travel sick while you are traveling and you've still got a long long way to go the best thing to do if you can is crack the window get some fresh air in or you know stop the car go for a bit of a walk and just try and get a bit of a breather because the fresh air will really really help and just staying still will really really help as well um and yeah, you know, just before you set off, try not to eat a really heavy meal because the heavy meal will make you feel more sick. So just try and eat light. Don't not eat because that can also not help anything. So just eat light. Don't eat too heavy and you should be all right. Um, but if you do start to feel travel sick while you are traveling, the best thing you can do is, you know, inhale the peppermint, eat some ginger, listen to some music, try and get some sleep um, because that is the most helpful thing you can do. Music and like podcasts, audiobooks, they're the best things to do for someone who suffers with travel sickness like me. I absolutely love podcasts for that reason because you can just close your eyes and just just go into the moment. Um, it's like reading but you don't have to actually read so yeah audiobooks are like the best thing ever created for people who have travel sickness so yeah they are my main tips if I think of any more I will leave them in the info box below um, but I've just travelled all the way to New Zealand and I will have used all of these tips along the way um, yeah they are my foolproof tips and hopefully I won't have struggled with travel sickness because I've got like a 30 hour flight to go on <laughs> um, so hopefully pray for me that there's no turbulence because turbulence is the enemy of people with motion sickness so yes that's it for me I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I really hope that if you do have travel sickness these tips help and um, let me know below if you've got any other really really great tips and things that you found along the way that have helped you because I think it's really important to share them and to just yeah share them with the world and help people out that are struggling with motion sickness too because it's not a nice thing to have to go through so yeah thank you so much for watching this video please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it please share it if you think it could help anyone that you know um, and if you want to see more videos from me press the little notification button below it's shaped like a bell and then you won't miss any videos from me in the future and that is it from me so have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and i will see you all in my next video bye guys